Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to upload theme files and plugin files to your website from your hard drive using an FTP client. In my example here, I'm using one called Transmit by the company Panic. It's a Mac FTP client, but any Windows or Linux or other Mac clients will work in similar fashions. And what you have on the left-hand side, you have your hard drive. On the right-hand side, you have your website. Now, if you haven't set up your FTP user account yet, you won't be able to log into your site server. If you need to do that, I've linked to a video in the description that will show you how to do that. So I'm gonna assume you already have your FTP set up and now we're gonna upload some files. So I have a theme update for the Aveda theme, which is a third party theme from ThemeForest. You can use this method to update any theme, but this is particularly important for third party themes that don't have auto update in the WordPress dashboard. So we're gonna upload that and I'm also going to get a third party plugin that I want to upload. This plugin is not in the WordPress repository, so we're going to download, download it to my computer right now and then upload it immediately after. So this is the plugin I want to use. It's an FTP plugin, and I'm actually going to make another video on using this plugin to do your FTP rather than an FTP client. But like I said, that's another video. But we're going to download this plugin and upload it to the website. So you're going to find a lot of third-party plugins that are like this where you can down download them right from their site and they're not in the WordPress repository, which is totally fine as long as you trust the creator of the plugin. People could have wrong intentions. People could make malware plugins or just scam plugins. There's all kinds of bad stuff you can put into a plugin. You upload that to your site and they've got access to everything. So only do this if you're confident of the source. And I'm confident in my FTP. I've used them lots of times, never heard any bad things about them. So I'm just going to download this plugin. And it's downloaded already. That was fast. I'm going to just open this plugin on my computer and then unzip it. And then we have the unzip version. And now if I go back to my FTP client, we have two folders, an Aveda folder and a my FTP folder and they go to different locations. So the FTP, my FTP is a plugin. So we go into WP content and the plugins folder. Simply drag and drop this folder somewhere where there's not another folder underneath it. So for example, don't drop it here because it will go into the contact form seven modules folder. That's not where you want it. You want to have it on the top level inside the plugins folder. You do that by dragging and dropping here in a, in a white area and it's going to upload. Uploading can sometimes take some time, especially if you're on a slow internet connection or if you have a lot of files that are in that plugin or theme, but just be patient. It will upload eventually. So now it's in our plugins folder, but we have to go into our website now to activate it. So if we head over to our website, I'm already logged in here, go to plugins, installed plugins. We scroll down. We see we have Myo FTP right here and I click on activate. And now we have the MyWFTP plugin activated and we see a new folder item or a new uh, menu item is added here. So that went well. And the next thing we wanna do is upload this theme. So I have a new version of Aveda and I wanna upload and replace the old version. So if you go into, I went back to, let's go right to the beginning. This is the root of the website. Go to WP content again, go to themes and I already have the Aveda theme here. This is the old version, and over here is the new version. Now the dilemma is, when you're doing this upload, the folder names are the same. And you don't just wanna drag and drop this over like this because then you, you're gonna get conflicts, you're gonna get things being overwritten, that you might not want to, it's kind of a mess. So what I recommend you do is, of the file folder you're uploading, change the name to something else. I'm just gonna add dash new at the end so I can differentiate the two. Then I upload this folder, and this is gonna take a bit of time to upload, so I'm gonna let this upload, and I will come back to you when it's done. Okay, now as we can see, the files are uploaded. We have two file folders, the Aveda theme that's currently outdated, the Aveda theme dash new, which is the new one, and the reason I uploaded these is because if you, for example, go ahead and just delete this theme, this theme folder and then upload the new one, it can take a long time before your new theme version is uploaded, which means that that time period, you're not gonna have a theme running on your site, so your site's gonna be broken. 
So that's the reason I uploaded the theme files, just changed the name, uploaded them. Now we have two copies. And now we can quickly change the name on one and then activate the other. Or there's another way you can do it. If we go into our uh, appearance and then themes in the WordPress dashboard, we will see a list of our themes. And there will currently be two versions of Aveda. We have the active one, which is this original one here, and Aveda-new, which is this one. So we can actually go ahead and in, in here we can check the version number and we can see which one is the most up-to-date version. And then we can go ahead and activate the one we just uploaded. So I can click on activate to activate this one. And that takes a few seconds. And then once that's activated, which it is now, we can go ahead and delete this other one because this one's activated. And, and that way you don't lose any downtime to uh, theme updates. And normally when you, when you update a theme through the repository, you don't lose any downtime anyway. But when you're updating third party themes like this that you have to upload and replace the old version with the new version, you can encounter some downtime if you don't do it right. So the right way to do it, you download the new version onto your hard drive. You either upload it with FTP or SSH or through the file manager. Just change the folder name, upload it to the WP content slash themes folder. And then once it's in here, you can either switch the names if you want to, or you can go into the uh, appearance and then themes and then activate the one that's most up to date. And then the, the, the benefit of doing it that way is if that updated theme breaks something, then you can just reactivate the old one that didn't break anything and then try to identify what the problem was. And that's how we upload themes and uh, plugins through FTP. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we publish more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.